Roblox Doors just had a huge update. With the long-awaited release of Floor 2 finally happening, being a lot bigger than any of us ever imagined, and also a lot more harder than any of us ever imagined. Even though Floor 2 just came out, we already got brand new updates and info on Floor 3, some brand new merch and plushies, some brand new items, and a whole bunch of brand new dev updates on their Twitter slash X, giving us a new update slash info on the future of doors. So without further ado, let's go and actually hop to the video starting off with the brand new merch, starting off with the figure plush. So like a while ago, Makeshift and uh, Doors just posted this teaser saying Doors X Makeshift is showing a figure shadow silhouette, of course, in floor two. It wasn't anything much until, of course, four days after that, they posted that yes, the plush will be coming out. How it's gonna be released on August 16th and of course showing a brand new giveaway that they're doing for the plush. But sadly, the giveaway kind of already ended, but they did do one, which is really nice. And they also did this whole entire plush animation for the uh, promotion that looks really sweet. I do love it. it looks really cute. And it's a good promo video for the little figure plush. Sadly, at the time of actually recording this video, there's only like one day left. By the time you actually guys are gonna see it and it's uploaded, sadly it'll be gone forever. It is sadly was limited edition, meaning if you want to get it, you're sadly gonna have to go to eBay and pay outrageous price whenever it does release. But as you can see here, the plush looks amazing. I absolutely just love the design of it. The plush has absolutely no printing within every little detail being embroidered in there. As you guys can see from the hands, the face, everything just looks pretty great. I love the head shape, I love the arms, I love the legs, I just love the little rib cages sticking out. You guys can see from all the angles, they made sure to add in every little detail. Literally, not one of them is missing, and if you're wondering, yes, I did actually get this plush, and it will be coming in uh, shipping around December 1st, as the description says, and of course, you get a message from the creator, you guys can pause and read. And it's how he looks standing up, it kind of looks a little bit cursed, but it's also pretty funny at the exact same time. But yeah, it did actually sell like over almost like 3,000 of them, and it did cost around 30 bucks and this is actually the fourth plushie out of the entire doors makeshift lineup so far i did do a review on the screech and seek plush but i haven't done one on the el goblino plush yet i will do it as a mini little collab with something else so stay tuned for that not with someone but with other merch you'll see when i get it in but i will be doing a review on the figure plush when i get it in so of course stay tuned for that but if you do not want to pay 30 bucks for those plushies and because also the limited so you don't want to go on ebay and spend an outrageous amount just for them you can always get the brand new fat mojo one just dropped on epic drops <laughs> No pun intended. As you guys can see, they have a brand new art saying new drops, 10 inch deluxe plushies and more coming soon. Showing shirts, pants, looks like bags, a lot of amazing looking art on those merch. So we have a lot to look at. As you guys can see, you got an eyes, pants and shirt. Looks like we've got a bag or another shirt here with like, it looks amazing. Almost every entity in the art. Sadly, that's the best image we got so far. But whenever we get more of these images, I will do another video letting you guys know about it. You also have this amazing new artwork for the new icon indoors for the merch. And these are the plushies. We've already seen the Screech, the figure and of course, Seek plush before. I already mentioned them in this video over six months ago. So yes, they are not new. And also like a month ago or like two months ago, people already started to find the brand new mystery minis and plushies in stores. So hopefully sooner or later I'll pop up in the US, but they are already out and you could try to go and find them for yourself. But the new plushiness roster is the El Goblino plushie. I gotta say this one looks a lot more game accurate to have model looks in game versus the actual makeshift plushie. But I cannot deny and say that this is still a really good plush. I really do love this one. Yes, I do not like the printing on the body um arms and pants i do think it's a little bit off but everything else when it comes to the embroidery and the size still looks pretty good and also the price is still cheaper than makeshifts one so you can't really complain there it also says collect them all because these are the 10 inch versions of them all because yes they do have a smaller version it also has a brand new officially licensed artwork looking also pretty good and as you see it costs 20 bucks and sadly you cannot get it yet it is coming soon so whenever it does come out i will be definitely getting them and doing a review on them but they do have the also the um eight inch plushies on sale but sadly it does, does say coming soon and some of them are sold out so we're gonna have to sadly wait for the rest of the merch to come out but moving on to actual doors gameplay news almost a month ago marked a two-year anniversary 
anniversary for Doors. Yes, it's already been over two years since the game came out. It's just crazy to think about. But also speaking about that, Doors Floor 2 just came out literally last Friday, aka an entire week from actually recording this video and also uploading it. When the game came out, everybody was of course trying to beat it. Lots of people kept trying to play it and of course made the game kind of crash. Lots of bugs were happening, mainly because the server is going to handle it and also because the game still had some bugs in it since it's just released. I did a whole live stream literally like five hours after it released and yes I could definitely say it was really difficult. I didn't run into any bugs. It was just extremely difficult. I also did this live stream and only lasted like what an hour and 18 minutes with cheap rampage so you know let us know if you want to do another one. But yes, they let us know about all the bugs happening and they're trying to, of course, go and update it. And they did actually, like a day after that, say that they heard all the feedback and they will be doing a little update for Floor 2, making it a lot more easier. Saying that, of course, the developers made it a lot more difficult because they got used to the difficulty after playing it and testing it for so long. So, of course, they're starting to go and tone down everything since the entities, the rooms, everything was just extremely difficult. It took, like, what, so long it's for people to actually beat the game, which is not good. Hey, this is the Halfway Mark, where I like to ask you guys to please go and subscribe. If you do not want to subscribe or if you already are, you can always just like the video or comment down below. I will always reply to every single one of you guys' comments, but of course, please just give me some time. I'm a human, not a bot. But speaking about plushies and merch, I'll be releasing my plushie this September, but of course, I don't have the date exactly yet, and the plush has been fully revealed, so stay tuned for a video on that. But sorry for taking more time in today's video. Please go and enjoy the rest of the news. But yes, they let us know that they were cooking and making some brand new changes and let them know when they go live. And less than a day after that, the brand new update was patched, overall making everything a lot more easier and removing lots of the bugs that came out on day one. Also removing the Heartbeat minigame, which was there when I did the live stream. But of course, they removed it entirely, meaning no more Heartbeat minigame when it comes to the figure, making door one also a little bit more easier. Along with that, they fixed a whole bunch of other bugs and also speak about door one being easier or floor one being easier they changed a lot in floor one adding a brand new greenhouse section adding some brand new areas halt is also different they just added in a lot of differences to floor one i gotta say just absolutely crazy credit also this uh youtube channel for of course the content since i did not have enough time to go do an entire run of floor one i did do enough time for floor two but so far not floor one they also have this brand new item being a clock which is good for you know messing up the figure and it's also a brand new item so you know great to see new items going into floor one and them also putting more love into floor one while also releasing floor two but it's also sad because kind of got overshadowed because everybody was so hyped for floor two but yes floor two was way too difficult adding in snares and areas that the little is impossible to avoid so yeah people of course got angry and they of course fixed it but one thing more people are angry about and is also pretty sad is that they just removed the tablet yes when the update actually came out the tablet was removed and it was actually replaced with this yellow bottle which now we know is a brand new item that will be replacing all tablets and i kind of literally just got the tablet and the oh, a1000 badge less my. than a month and a half ago almost two months ago i did a whole entire video well i actually didn't upload it but it's like i recorded it just in case i needed footage and yes it looks like it was good because this tablet is gone can we get a hashtag rest in peace um tablet Took me four hours to get that. How could you do that? But thanks to Rise on YouTube, we're able to see the video that the brand new item is the Barrel of Starlight. Literally being one of the most overpowered items in the entire game that give you a whole bunch of speed boost, gives you all your health back, and I think plus more, like a lot more. And you keep using it for a while. It's literally super overpowered, so... I haven't used it yet. If you want to see a video on that, stay tuned for that. But in my last news video I did here, we did hear that the developers wanted to make the back doors different and that they wanted to remove the tablet, but I want to replace it with a better item. And of course, I want to get rid of the lackluster gameplay that takes a while to complete. So it looks like they found a good solution for the item, but they also want to change the badge too. So hopefully they make the A1000 badge different, maybe a add a few more things in the rooms making it different in the next update but we do know there are plans to do something so that is also good to know also l splash posted this for some reason most likely getting tired from all the bugs they had to fix and of course all the hate in the beginning for making the game extremely difficult and many people just not really enjoying floor 2 while the other half of people enjoy floor 2 so it's pretty mixed also l splash and Red redibles posted their little bug buggy bug fixes experiences in floor 2 while developing it which just looks funny like look at all these clips yeah they 
added a whole bunch of clips on Twitter or, or slash X, so you could definitely go look at that if you want to see them all. But here are just a few. But now moving on to the juicy stuff, the interesting stuff, most likely the reason why you clicked on this video beside the merch. Floor 3, and yes, it wasn't clickbait, and yes, I was not lying, we actually got Floor 3 news, with Redables actually replying to someone when he asked, when's Floor 3? As a joke, Redable said, jokes aside, Floor 3 is going to be so much incredibly faster because a big part of the update was working on our backend and updating models and legal stuff, meaning everything is set up for a new update to be developed much easier and faster. They so pretty much rewrote the game from scratch. So the reason why Floor 2 took so long, literally over two years, is because they were rewriting the entire game. That's why Floor 1 got a whole new update and literally everything almost got remastered. Also, there's a reason why we got a whole bunch of brand new bugs. So yes, it's great to hear that we won't have to wait as long for Floor 2, meaning Floor 3 can easily just come out anytime in 2025, which will make sense. My bets are definitely on Halloween 2025. And thanks to this video here by Legit Mods on YouTube, we could get a good look at the ending scene for Floor 2. I personally haven't completed Floor 2. Definitely did not die at uh, 196. But as you guys can see from the ending and also zooming out photos, the finale zone is looks like the next floor is going to be a castle, which just looks amazing. I got to say, look at this. The castle looks great, meaning definitely looks like floor three. We got our very first info slash leaks, if you will, that floor three will be a castle and will be coming out a lot more faster. So you could definitely expect this in less than a year, most likely, or just next Halloween, a little bit over a year. You could definitely expect floor three. Who knows? It could be even working on it right now. But yes, I definitely cannot wait for that. Anyways, listen to me. If this video, let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about all the brand new doors news what do you think about all the brand new merch and all the brand new news and are you excited for floor three and have you personally beat floor two you guys can let me know all that in the comments below and i'll see you guys all in the next video don't forget to watch this video here to be up to date on all the previous merch news and of course doors news since this video is not as outdated as you think